Hey, hello and welcome <laughs> to Ryan's Family Amusements here in Millis, Massachusetts, where we have several championship matches taking place in front of us. The one we're featuring on lanes three and four, very close match in terms of averages. Mike Kane. Mike Nardone, Ken Dubray, and Rich Lamone will be facing off. Mike Kane will begin first on lane three. He comes from Peabody. He has, he's carrying a 113 average, therefore will be our favorite. First ball comes from Nardone. The Grafton resident drops eight, as does Kane, but he leaves the five and seven. That's a spare for Nardone to begin. Mike is through the goalposts. Third ball coming up for the Peabody resident. And he'll settle for an eight. Comes Mike with his fill ball. He's off. Off on the two pin, gets six to fall, so 16 in the first. Early eight pin lead. Mike's on the head pin again. Mr. Kane leaves the two and one. That's gone. Two spares in a row to begin for Nardone. And Mike Kane is just left of the two pin. Seventeen through two for Kane. Nardone at twenty-six in a ball. This is his first ball in the third. Straight through for five. is off on the two pin, leaves the Kaleri with Wood. Thirty-one through two for Nardone, big, big third ball coming up. All go but the sleeper eight pin for Mr. Kane. It's a good out, getting four out of that. He's at forty through three. And Kane sits at 27 through three. Nardone carries a 110 average. He bowls in the Wednesday night league here in Millis. Again in the flush in the one three pocket. Nine drop. Kane follows suit. And he'll be looking at the 2-4. It's gone. Third mark in the first half. We're in the top of the first. Bowlers will be competing for five strings as Mike Kane misses his spare. That was for a 10. 37 through four. Kane. Nice. Everything but the head pin falls on that. Up on the quarter pin. No such love for Kane. Nardone looking for his fourth spare of this half. He does. He'll sit down with 69 and a ball. Kane is just off head pin. He'll face that for his 10. So that'll be a 46 half for Mr. Kane. Ken Dubray now on lane four, and Rich Lamone on lane three.
and Ken is got a half Worcester to begin. Lamone is just off and it almost gets the four horsemen were standing, all of them leaning hard, and just the ten remains. Dubray from Derry, New Hampshire. Wearing the black and gray. He'll be open in the first. Lamone misses his spare opportunity. Lamone, Lamone is now carrying an average of 112. And Dubray, a 109. All four bowlers are within four pins of one another, bowling out of four different houses. So we expect this one to be a very exciting match down to the wire. So not if uh, Mike Nardone keeps throwing four spares a half. That one's a little too flush on the head pin. And Lamone punches three through the two hole. Second ball of the second box. He's gonna play the wood. He gets the wood to do its job. The ball did not carry the seven. Good attempt from Lamone, but he's still got a two and one. And that's a 10, so Dubray's at 18 through the second. As is Rich Lamone. Just joined us, we're in the top of the first five string First round matchup in the Chicha Nationals out of, we're on lanes three and four here at Ryan Family Amusements. Dubray again buries the head pin just a bit flush. Lamone off on the Brooklyn side. He's got some choices. No, one fewer choice now. Front pin is the three pin. He got it! What a play off the sidewall on the right. First mark in the first string for Rich Lamont. Dubray settles for an eight. He's at 26. Lamont now at 28 plus this ball. Coming up. Eighty bowlers are competing in the in the tournament. All of them finishing their first round matches in the next several weeks. Two will advance. Three and one. Good bid from Dubray, but just a little deep on that. They're gone. So six in the fill for Lamone and another nifty spare. Two in a row. Earlier in the first half of the first string, we saw Mike Nardone put up four spares for a 69 and a ball. Mike Kane sits at 46. This is the first ball of the fifth box for Dubray. He's got the one seven, six, 10. And six in the bonus for Lamone. Give it a bit. No three in a row for Lamone. Whoa, Niff. <laughs> Neat. Nice ten there. And a nine. So Dubray was open, but managed a 46. Lamone, with his two spares, sits down with a 59. Mike Kane now moves to lane four. Nardone working in the, with the bonus ball in his hand on lane three. He 
see the other matches moving on the adjacent lanes. Matt Nichols over there. Mike Kane again on the head pin. This time he's got a friendly lead with just a seven and covering wood. Two bonus pins late fall for Nardone. That's a 76 pass. Michael. And Mike Kane makes his first spare here in the first string. Just off the head pin. Our early leader settles for an eight. He's only left one, now three pins on the deck so far. He's at 84 through six, 24 over his box. Kane sweeps out the right side for six in the bonus. And Ardone hoping that corner will fall, but he has the king size bed post. Nifty. Four horsemen going. Ball took down all of them. Ardone can't send the messenger. He'll be open in the seventh with a nine. So he's at 93. Kane now at 72 and a ball through seven. Picking up ground. Oh, the, the one you think should be better. <laughs> Hit the pocket. The 60 degree angle. Leave that three and one lead. Six in the fill. But that's 78. Through seven for Kane with that fill. Both bowlers open here in the eighth. Third ball is coming up. That'll be an eight. Moving Kane to 86 through eight. Six over. Nardone is giving pins back. He also puts up an 80s at 101. Still 21 over. A 21 over bowler would get 121 if he finishes with all 10s. Skip right into the pocket. Nine drop for Nardone. Looking for his first mark on the back. He's had four marks in his first half as Kane punches it through the half Worcester hole. No! Oh. No 10 pin from Mike Nardone. Big out ball here. Oh, that'll be a five. And that one was in the channel. So 110 through nine, still 20 over for Nardone. Ball, Maddie. Make it pay for the one. Mike Kane is one over at 91. They're shaking, they're all gone. That's a strike. That's his fifth mark on the first string. He'll take two bonus balls in just a minute. Kane gives it a good bid, misses by a whisker. Needs this for 100. He'll take a, he'll take a 99 to start. That's 14 under his average. First bonus ball for Nardone. He takes five out of the three hole. And three, four, five more. So that, that one. We'll make the, uh, the official score is a 130 for Mike Nardone. He'll make that adjustment as the scanner didn't pick up that late falling pin.
Nice start for Mr. Nardone, familiar with these lanes. His team finished second in the Tuesday Night Bowlers League. Thanks to this guy. Lamone drops eight with his first ball in the sixth. Chasing that early 30 over lead. Rich was open in the fifth. He had a 50, 59 first half. Oh! Just off the free pin there. Four horses go for Kenny Dupre. That's his first mark in the first, first string. Lamone strung together two spares in the third and the fourth. Leaves the one, two, seven, ten there. Bonus ball for DeBray on in the pocket. Good late action. That's eight. Brings him to 64 through six. And a makeable spare here. Everything was connected. Two in a row for the New Hampshire resident. High low Jack. Not today. So that'll be a seven for 76 through seven. We'll be bowling five strings here today. Top two will advance. Seatings were uh, random, so it, <laughs> there were no qualifiers to get in. This is one of the tough, tightest groupings with uh, everybody having an average between 109 and 113. In this Lamone is open, he can't, can't pick the two. Fair attempt. Needed more help from the wall there. So a 10 in the eighth for Lamone brings him to 86. And that nine brings Dubray up to 89. Dubray is now marginally in second place in this group. Crossover, five, six, ten. Both with difficult to makeable spares here. He's the tip, he got it. Boy, he flipped that wood like he wanted to, but it was just a little deep. And Dubray plays his wood just right. Off the tip there. That's his third spare in the back half here. He's now at 99 and a ball. As, it, as both bowlers begin their 10th tenth, tenth frames. Another nice crossover. That wood seems to be attached. Meanwhile, five in the bonus for DeBray. Puts him 14 over for the moment. Lamone completes his, his spare. Close the barn door on that one. Oh! Played that one a little on the outside. Did, did well to catch the uh, sleeper pin, but left, left the six standing. And that'll be a 113 for Dubray. With eight in that fill. That's a 114. We have a very tight match. So after the first string, we should we should write it up and put it in front of the camera, but I, I am verbalizing it, but uh, uh oh. 
hoping not. That could be, that doesn't sound good though. Just a, if you just hold with me for a minute. Yeah. Can you, uh, why is it have me in maps here? As soon as I said that, Okay, it says we're live. <laughs> it says we're live here. <laughs> okay, so after the first string, the scores there were Mike Nardone, 130, Rich Lamone, 114, Ken Dubray, 113, and Mike Kane, 99. Well, and we'll be writing those down and, and, and pass them on. Bowlers are now prepared for their second string. We'll put that up a little in a minute. Cardone leaves the 2-7 uh, with his first ball here in the second. Oh, gets a little surprise help from the wood there. Four and one, and Kane is all over it. Hit it from two sides. for Nardone, seven for Kane. Okay. No messenger found there. Big out ball here for Nardone. Yep. Yep. <laughs> nice out for Nardone. He gets nine with the four fill. He's at 23 through two. And Mike Kane cleans up his plate. He now stands at 27. All the bowlers in positive territory now. Cardone has a half Worcester left. And Kane sweeps four on the left side as well. Okay. Second ball from Kane. He's got them all. He's got them all. Another big. That was a big, fill, big uh, third ball for. Nardone, he now stands at 30 through three. Kane making a run now with his second mark here in the top of the second. Okay, that's just four there. So 41, he's 11 over, brings him to 10 over on the tournament. That's going, that's gone. More late wood coming to the aid. Seventh mark of the day for Nardone. We put up the big 130 in the first. And that's a 10. 51 through four for Kane on lane three on the left. We're in the Hatchet Man jersey. Nardone in the bonus. Grabs eight. He's looking at the at the three five with wood all over the five. Whoa, whoa. 
That should go. There it is. So 58 and a ball for Nardone. Kane chops. Chops out the 1 5. Okay. That's a 60 half for Mr. Kane. Bowls out of Peabody. First ball of the second string. Ken Dubre. He put up a 113 in the first. He's looking at the 8-9 uh, back there. A lot of wood to help. Rich Lamone is off the head pin, but leaves the 1-3-9-10. Oh! Nothing doing with the 8. Third ball here. That's for a 10 for Ken. And Lamone settles for an eight. These two uh, were within one pin of each other to start. And uh, Ken Dubre just took a one pin lead with that two pin swing there. Got to follow that. Top two bowlers will advance after 50 boxes. This is just the 12th box here. Thin pocket shot. Both bowlers open in the second. Nice 10 for Ken. 20 through two. Picks up another three there in his head-to-head -head match with Lamone. He's got the uh, one, two, four, and the nine in the back. Yep. Looked like he was left of the head pin, but the wood was adjacent. First mark in the uh, second frame for DeGray. Now has 30 through three plus a ball. And Lamone is at 23, looking to get right. Six more for DeGray. And a four and two split for Lamone off the, off the two pin. Wood to help that time. Oh, just, just off that head pin that had a lot of possibilities if he hit it thin. Okay, so that's 45 through four. Bray is now 18 over. And 30 through four for Lamone. He's now four over. That brings uh, Mike Kane into into third third place. Oh, look at that, Kenny! All in a bunch, buddy. And a half Worcester.
sweeps five out from the uh, two pin. Another look at the high-low jack. This one with adjacent wood is very makeable. Dubray leaves three on the plate. So he'll finish the first half of the second. And look at that one, look at that one, it's gone. High low jet. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> and Mike Nardone hands him a buck. He had announced, <laughs> probably in range of the microphone, he would give him a buck if he made it. Great way to finish there. A tough half of it before that. No, he's at, sitting at 40 in a ball. No ball. That was a 10. That was a 10? Yeah. Oh, I'm corrected. Sorry. I wanted it. Mike? I'll, I'll take it for a spin. I'm on the right. Oh. Yep. We apologize. <laughs> we apologize. That's a, that's a 40 half there. Sorry. tell people that. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> and I just undid it. So Nardone was in the bonus. That's six more for his total. He had a 64 first half. Remember, he put up that 130 in the first and is our leader right now. And there he goes. Three spares in a row for Nardone. Kane has four. He has two, two hidden, hidden balls in the back. That's a six. Kane is at 66 through six. Five over for the day. And sitting now in third place, Nardone adds five to his total. He's at 79 through six. So he's 49 over already. A 49 over bowler, if he keeps bowling tens, would be finishing with a 549. Remember these guys, come in with averages ranging between 109 and 113. So they've got to be thinking that 550 is going to be right around where the cut line is. Betting on if everybody else goes deep like Cardone did. He gives back three there with a seven. He's at 86 through seven. So 46 over for the day. Kane pokes out the three pin, leaves four and two. Going for the inside. I call that the inside anyway. Inside the hole. Still has three left there on the, on the le left, so that'll be a seven. And that was for a 10 for Nardone. He's at 96 through eight in this second string. 46 over for the day and in the lead. Kane now one over. He started with a 99. Another beautiful, that, re that reverse ball. He almost hits his ankle with it. I've even seen him hit his ankle once or twice on league night, but it works well for him. Goodbye, Mr. Sixpin. So Kane now at 91 through nine. We're beginning to see the first ball of the 10th box here in the second string. We're in the bottom of the second. Crosses over onto the two pin. Gets the head pin to fall late. Nardone in the bonus. Adds seven more. He's at 113 through nine. 53 over for the day. Looks like that's makeable. Oh, Kane just 
Just a whisker left. That's all gone. What a what a performance for Nardone. I believe that was his fourth spare in this second string. He had five marks in the first. And that'll be a seven. For Mike Kane, he's got a he goes to three under. He's got a 99 and a 98. Nardone with the bonus. Good time for that, I guess. That's four. Straight up spread eagle on that one. For a 127. So he's at, he adds his 127 to his 130. He's at 57 over. He's opened up a nifty uh, 40 pin lead for the moment. Been bowling well this month, at least until Tuesday night. <laughs> I, I see one in the 80s there. <laughs> two, <laughs> two in the 80s on Tuesday night. So don't, <laughs> don't go home yet. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, good, good mixing action for Dubre. Both bowlers were open in the fifth. Lamone tries a trick shot off the wall. Dubre. Over on lane five, Manny Nichols just pulled a 141 in his match. <laughs> and that was for a 10. Rich Lamone's eight brings him to 48 through six. He's looking to right the ship. Dubre now at 62 and 15 over for the day. More good mixing action. Box, the sleeper stands. No choice but to play the wood. He plays the left side, and that's, I think, what he was afraid of. The wood was not going to carry the 10, so he was trying to make the pins swing over there. Okay, that's a 10 for Dubre. He's now in second place. 15 over. Lamone leaves a little, little wing. The one, two, four. Still falling on lane three. Looks like he only needs to hit the head pin on the left side. Oh. Tough string so far. Nope. Oh. He chops the head pin there. Four and eight, a nine. 67 now through eight for Lamone. 81 through eight for Dubre. He's 14 over on the day and in second place. There's some love from the pins on lane three. Bit of a geometry problem for Dubre. He's got wood that will go, but it can't touch the wood. The ball hops up, coming off the lip. That's a nine. For Lamone and a 10 for Dubre. He's at 91 through nine. He had a 113 in the first, so he's 14 over, 14 over on the day. Safely in second place at the moment. Still 30 boxes to go. First ball of the 10th box here. 
three and one lead. Now Lamone is open. Open for the whole whole string there. Caps it. Ball ball carried through and took out the ten. That'll be an 84 for Lamone. So he dro he now drops down into fourth place. There's 10 in the fill for Dubray. Strike on spare. That'll be a 111. Second string scores for the match. You see Mike Nardone leads with 257. Ken Dubray in second with 224. Followed by Rich Lamone at 198 and Mike Kane with 197. First ball of the third string coming up next. Mike Nardone moving back onto lane four. We'll have a little correction. That was six, six pairs for Nardone. So he has 11 on the day. Again on the head pin. A little too flush there, leaves a two and one. Six, seven, ten. Mike Kane crosses over. Thin hit leaves the looks like a piano keyboard there. We'll call that the uh, four, seven, eight, five, three, nine, ten. Could all go over there, right there, right there. Nope. Nardone's third ball is good. That's a 10. And that's a 10 to match for Kane. Keith Beaupre blasts nine over on lane five. Okay, four horsemen plus the seven eight. Kane crosses over, leaves the diamond. Bid there. Got some wood to get down with Kane. His left of his diamond. That'll be a seven. 17 through two for Nardone, our leader. That's the way to beat the diamond for a 10. Kane now at 20. Top of the third here. One of his balls got stuck back in that machinery. Looks like it's got a little damage. He chooses a different one. One, three, one split. Off the head pin for Nardone. And that's a little baby five and one split for Kane. Magic there. 
five, seven, ten remain for Nardone with his third ball coming up. And there's some magic. What a, what a spare for Kane. He needed it. Kane started with two tens, and that spare, he'll be in the bonus to start the fourth. Nardone here. Gets a late drop from the 10, leaving a makeable one, two, seven. They're all still falling though. Seven in the seven in the bonus out of the ocean for Kane. We didn't watch that one. That's the way to pull that one. Kane will be open in the third, in the fourth, sorry. But he still hasn't left the pin standing. Three tens and a 17 for Kane. He's at 47 through four. Has now moved into third place. Nardone puts five on his spare. Bring him even to 40 through four. Nope, nine pin stays. Kane with a three and one, he's got a chance. He does. Two nifty spares in that half. He'll sit down at 57 in a ball. And Mike Nardone will sit down with a 50 half to start the third string. So, still here in the top of the, top of the third, approaching the midway point. Mike Nardone so far has been the story, putting up a five mark 130 and a six mark 127 opened up a 40 pin lead over the other competitors. But these guys are very evenly matched. I expect this that a battle will continue. We're likely to see something close at the end. Nice bid on the two and one from Dubray. Needs a hop, needs a hop, doesn't get it. Lamone opened with a 114 and then uh, struggled to an 84 in his second. Ball's coming out of his hands much, more, much better this, in this early going here in the third. First ball in the second box. Just a bit flush, another two and one. Looks like he double crossed himself there. Nothing doing with the wood, a little deep there. Right on his object, the flush. Third ball here. That'll be an eight for a 17 for Dubray. And a seven for 17 to match for Rich Lamone. Dubray opened with a 113 and then added 111 in the second. He stands in second place. 33 pins behind our leader. As he sweeps four on the right side. Matching fours there to start the third box. Now 
That's got a chance. Pin dug in just behind the seven pin. And that's an eight, if you can't see it. There's a uh, the one and five remain there for DeBray. And a 10 for Lamone. <laughs> Watch Chris Parkinson moving pins on the fifth without knocking over. A little left. There's the pocket. <laughs> and you hear him say, why does it have to be the 10 pin? Nine there, and a ten for Lamone. Dubray's, Dubray's at 34 through four, and 18 over for the day. Lamone now stands at 37 through four. Both looking for their first mark here in the fifth box. There's the first. He'll sit with that strike. Miss a single throw a strike, he says. Quoting Craig Holbrook. Four and one. What a grab. What a beautiful. Got great action off the left wall. The head pin seemed to helicopter back and took out both the eight and the 10 on that Kaliri. So 44 in a ball for Dubray and 47 in two balls for Rich Lamone. As we are at the halfway mark here. Mike Nardo, Mike, Mike Kane will throw first on lane four. In the bonus, he'll grab five there, leaving a 1-3-1 one, one with a lot of wood. Two pieces anyway. So Kane finishes the first half with a 62. Brings him nine over on the day. On the day. Both bowlers are open in the to start the bottom of the third. Nice rail runner there for Kane. And Nardone kisses the nine pin over into the channel. 60 through six for Nardone, 72 for Mike Kane making a move. Four on the right. And a one, two, one on a thin head pin hit for Nardo. Just off the head pin. This one's going, there it is. The wood lined up nicely there. Nardone's 13th mark of the day. And a nine for Kane. He's at 81 through seven, 11 over. In the third string. And eight over on the day. Drives all the side pins home, leaving the five, nine, five, eight, nine. Six in the bonus. Leaving the big four. Oh. Like he's playing for the tip there. Tough, 
tough nine there. <laughs> so Kane's at 90 through eight. Nardone is at 83 through eight. Is the scanner only picked up one of those? Score is corrected. Oh. Six pins, stubborn for Kane. Both bowlers of twos and two and one splits here. Nardone's is makeable. Right there, he does. His third spare here in the third string. Kane puts nine up in the eighth for 99. It's actually, that was the ninth. He's at 99, nine over through nine. Nice. Head pin fit there. And a matching nine drop in the bonus for Nardone. He's building his lead now. Spare for Kane. And a match. Spare for Nardone. Kane at 109 plus this ball. Nardone at 113 plus this ball. Okay, six for a 115 for Kane and six to match for Nardone. He finishes with a 119. Brings him up to 376 through three. Keynes 115 brings him to 312, 312 on the day. 64 pins back from the lead, but most important for these bowlers is second place. There's no, no bonus for finishing first. Two will advance. Ken Dubray puts six in his fill. And spare on strike for Rich Lamone. Just on the right side of that. Debray will settle for an eight. So he's at 58 through six. 22 over for the day, 22 over his box. Lamone adds seven in the bonus, leaving the eagle wing left. Another nice head pin, but it's flush. That's the 4 6. A couple pieces of wood in the, on the right, including the one in the channel that might be a factor. Lamone is back on his game now after a little drought there in the second string. He's got three in a row. Ocean ball there. Another eagle wing, this one though, the one, two, four. Looking for his fourth in a row. Nope. Chips it off. But Lamone has gotten himself back 
into second place now. With that 10, he's now at 101 through 8, 21 over in the third string, 19 over for the day. We had a late, late pinfall there. Get it, looking to get himself right. Another head pin, another split. Boy, he's had three in this half. Flush head pin shots it. This one's the five and dime. Oh, Lamone gave that one a good pin. Both bowlers open in the ninth. One oh nine through nine and Dubray looking to get right. He's at eighty six. Why not? It's that time he hit a thin one and he got a nine drop. Four head pins in this half. Good bid from Lamone. On the three and one, but he'll be open. Jabray. Oh. Both bowlers finished with nines. 118 for Lamone. Brings him to 316 for the day. And 95 for Debray. Brings, keeps him in uh, second place with 319. We'll show you for those of you who are not listening. Through three of five, Mike Nardone. He's got a 56 pin lead, and there's a big battle for second place. Two will advance, 20 boxes to play. Only seven pins separating Rich Lamone, Mike Kane, and Ken Dubray. They've all had their hot streaks, but they've been also been struggling. Nardone right back on the head pin. Gets a late drop from the seven. Kane crosses over and wonders what the five is thinking. <laughs> that was Rich Lamone's commentary. Just off the off his object. Trying to slide it past the wood. And lane three. Exacting its toll on the bowlers. Nine to start the fourth for Nardone. And a nine also from Mike Kane. Remember, Nardone from Grafton is a 110 bowler. Mike Kane comes in with a 113 average. Bowling out of Peabody. Crossover, nine drop. Just the six remains. Three and one with Wood, plays it low. Can't get, can't get the carry. Spare for Kane in the second. Kane currently in fourth place, just seven pins behind though. The second place. Position right now held by Ken Dubray with you know, 319 through three. Kane had a 312. Rich Lamone stands between them with a 316.
An eight drop here would bring him even. Let's see if he gets it. There it is, nine and 10. Strike on spare for Kane. He moves now into, from fourth into second place with that shot. <laughs> Nifty strike over there on lane five. And that was for a 10 for Nardone. Nobody is out of this one. Even if Nardone continues to bowl like he did before. Fine, and a shaker. But the six won't fall. And there's Mike Nardone's first spare of the fourth string. He picks up the lambda. And three marks in a row for Kane. Spare strikes. Fair. And he'll have to sit down after this one. It's getting very hot. Eight on the fill for Nardone and another friendly lead. Crossover leaves a triangle. Seven more bonus spins. 66 through four for Kane. Now 26 over here as Nardone completes his spare, his second in a row. Oh, and that'll end the string for Kane. <laughs> about five balls in a row, right where he was like aiming. <laughs> Sits down with a 10 for a 76 half, 26 over. Puts him at uh, 45 over on the day in second place. He still has 15 left. Ken Dubray now bowling first on lane four. We're in the top of the fourth. Rich Lamone came to life in the third string with a 118. Starts with a, looks like a makeable three and one. Something happened with the grip there. Oh, played the left tip of the wood. Got the helicopter, but no other action. Correction, Mike Kane is 38 over. He's, stuck, he's still in second place. He's got a... Uh, 21 pin lead over Ken Dubray, but Ken has four more boxes to try to match that. Anything over a 10 puts you over. We hear the dulcet tones of air hockey in the background. Lamone working on the spare, all over it, back to the curtain. That'll be a nine for Dubray. Okay. I was gonna say with three pins, Rich Lamone will tie Ken Dubray for third place. And that's exactly what he did. Nice bit at the four and two. 
split. Both bowlers open in the third. Eight for Dubray brings him to 14 over on the day. With that nine, Lamone is at 15 over, one pin up and in third place. Remember, two will advance. Mike Kane just put up a 76 half to grab second place. Unusual three and three split here. Leaves a one and two. Has a chance. Boy, everything. The 10 wouldn't carry. The ball the ball jumped back there, but it looked like it bounced hard off the off the six pin. Just past the 10. Okay, that'll be a nine. Thirty-eight through four for Lamone, thirty-four through four for Dubray. Flush. Seven ten split. Four pieces of wood in front of the ten pin. Let's see if he can send one of them. Nope. But Lamone picks up his baby split. Nice little one, three, eight. That was good. Ball hit the pin before the channel. So that'll be a 10 and a 44 half to start the fourth for Ken Dubray. 48 and a ball for Lamone. Our top two, our leader, Mike Nardone, is working in a, on a spare. Kane, who was open only in the fifth box there, after starting with. Three marks in a row. He has some work to do with his third ball. There it is. That's three spares in a row for Nardone. Who has 14 on the day. Through four and a half. Kane comes back a little to the crowd. He's now 36 over on the day. With 84 through six here in the fourth. There it is. That's what he wanted. Another beautiful crossover pocket shot. I don't know if you even call, call it a crossover since he delivers the reverse ball. Spare for Kane. He adds, looks to add to his 24 bonus spins that he's picked up in this round. Kane started to come to life in the third string with a 115, and he's really continued it here. Starting with a 76 half. Another head, head pin. This time the five won't fall, though. Eight in the bonus. Puts him 32 over in this string. And 44 over for the day. Firmly in second place. Nardone. Dave's just past the head pin there. He likes to ride that rail, Mike does.
That's an eight. Snardone now stands at 97 through eight. And 93 over on the day. Split here for the spare. And Nardone is chopping the head pin there. Eight in the ninth for Kane brings him to 120. Nardone's at 105 through nine. Another nice nine drop from Kane. And the pocket doesn't treat as well for Nardone as he leaves the hay bale on the right. Two pieces of wood in front of the seven. That was in the channel. That'll be a nine. So a one, tough way to end it. Nardone almost knocks down his bail. Mike Kane finishes with a 129. And Nardone finishes with a 9 4, 114. He's got scores of 130, 127, 119, and 114. Fourteen spares on the day. He's at 490 through 4. First ball in the sixth. Box here in the fourth string. Rich Lamone leaves the uh, one, five, eight, nine. Just needs to throw that spread eagle ball. Oh, I think Kenny thought he had that one. He was on the left side of the head pin where he wanted to be, but uh, swung just wide of the two pin. He'll settle for a nine. So Lamone was in the bonus. Um, he knocked six down on his first ball. He finished the first half with a 54. He's 20 over on the day. And cursing his fate here in the second box. All right. Little baby split. Two seven remain for Dubray. He's got it. He's got it. That time the ball did its job and kicked, kicked out left. And Lamone is practicing field goals. He's got a 71 now through seven. Dan Dubray with his first mark. Now stands at 63 plus a ball through seven. Beautiful nine drop leaving the five. Seven on the fill for Dubray. Goodbye. Lamone is back in the smudge. Oh, okay. So Debray got himself back even. Oh, we've got up there, John. 
finds the space between the head pin and the wood. So he drops three more back down. 77 through eight for Debray. Come on, working in the bonus. Two. He's at eight, 83 through eight. Match is fairly tight. Mike Kane just put, just made a statement with a 129. And both of these bowlers need to keep pace with that. They all came in within seven pins of each other to start this fourth string. And eight for Lamont. Whoa, nice conversion there. That was for a 10. All right. Nine drop to the kingpin again for Lamont. And where's, okay. Likes the wood, but he doesn't like the lead. Nope, that time he's off to the right. Nope, not what he was looking for there. So a 101 for Rich Lamone. Brings him to 417. 24 pins. Behind their second place, Mike Kane, Ken Dubray with a 97. He's at 416. So through four, we have Mike Nardone in first place, 490. Ken Dubray, I'm sorry, Mike Kane in second place at 441. 24 pins ahead of Rich Lamone and 25 ahead of Ken DeBray. Strike to start the fifth and final string as Mike Nardone looks, closes in on 100 over, which would be a 600 series. Right there, right there, he's got it. He's had seven pins left after sweeping the, sniping the four, seven, eight on his first ball. Throw a strike ball. First bonus ball leaves the one, three, six. And five in the bonus for Kane on lane three. Just join us, we're in the top of the fifth string. Whoa, what a pickup! That was the one, three, and the five, eight, nine in the back. Grabbed both the pair and the triangle. The ball, the ball managed to carry through and right into the pocket of the 5-9. A little bit of help on the left from the wood. Two spares in a row for Mike Kane. He's got a 24 pin lead over the third place, Rich Lamone. Eight will fall in the bonus there. So he's at 33 through two. Nardone. A little out of rhythm on that one. Boop. Three marks in a row for Mike Kane. And a seven for Nardone. He's at 33. He's looking for a 110 in this game to hit the 600 milestone. 
leads in the match by over 60 pins. Probably safe there. Seven drop, leaving the triangle on the right. Kane getting late action. Six ball. As Nardone completes his spare. So 40, 49 through three. Let it, we gotta correct the score. See, I've changed that to a six. You gotta, unfortunately, you're gonna have to change the four to a three. Right. The scanner only gives you so much time. So 59 with that 10 through four boxes. He's 19 more over. Mike Kane is now 60 over for the day. If he gets all 10s, he would get a 560. Oh, the dreaded 189. That was in the fill for Mike Nardo. And our favorite is Spread Eagle. Nardone finds the pocket. Only takes three. Oh, good bid, good bid. Laid it on the uh, inside of the void, outside the wing. Third ball here. It's good nine. Nardone's it. will sit down with a 55 half on pace for his 110 that he needs for the 600 game series. And that was another big, big half for Mike Kane. He put up 67. He even Trailed off a bit at the end. Started with three nifty spares. Ken Dubray. And Rich Limone now with uh, mirror image half Worcesters to start the first box of the fifth and final string here in the Chicha Nationals. Both need, both looking to catch Mike Kane, who you just saw put up a 67. And that won't help, that's a five for Lamone. Here he comes. Dubray with a lambda. Get the triangle behind the head pin. And no help from the wall there. Lamone can't take advantage of his nine drop. And that was for 10. Remember, they started this string 24 and 25 pins behind Mike Kane. But Kane just added, also in my, in my the way I keep score, he added another 17 by putting up 67 in the first half. First ball, the third box here from Ken Dubray. Another half blister. Lamone leaves the four horses. Got it. Yeah, he did it. He rode the little piece of wood in the back, kept everything in line for the for the uh, six and ten. Oh, 
tough box for Ken. He's got a 7-24 now through three. Six in the bonus for Lamone. And Dubre is open again. This one can go. I think that's what he was aiming for. All right. 30, 33 in the fourth. For Gray and wow, nice 10 on lane three. Lamone. He's now even. 40 through four. And trailing by 41 pins with six to play. There's the way to get those back in a hurry. Keith Popraise matching that over on lane five in the next match. Oh. Nice ball. Thanks. I mean, I went a little far left on that piece of wood. I didn't think I was going to walk. Vagaries. So. At the switch, can you just let Brian Bourne you know that the Yankees are losing five to nothing? Yeah. Did you hear that, Brian? Yeah. The Yankees are losing five nothing. Yeah. <laughs> We're down to our last five boxes. All four bowlers will start their sixth string next. Mike Kane trying to hold on to second place. He's 58, 58 pins over. So if he were to get all tens, he'd finish with a with a 558. Holding on to about a 40 pin lead. 41 pin lead over uh, Rich Lamone, who finished with a strike. However. Drama for Nardone is he's looking for 55 pins here in the back half to finish with a 600. Wolf Bowler's open to start the final half, but here in the bottom of the fifth. That'll be an eight for Kane and a six for Nardone. Nardo needs to pick up nine more pins in the bonus to get 600. Nine drops for Kane. Back in the pocket. But that's the 6 7. Oh, no! And a blocker. Oh, what a pickup! What a pickup! Helicoptered the wood and got the right bounce off the wall to sweep across and take the six. Chris Parkinson with a nice pickup over there on lane five. Parkinson had 486 through four. Also, we heard in his match, Matt Nichols and Keith Bofrey. Mike Kane trying to put up a big score here. Nardone grabs eight of those pins he needs. That was in the bonus. Oh, there it goes! <laughs> Off the cap of the blocking wood. Bait is on his side now. Nardone at 
89 and a ball through eight. Remember, he has to stay 10 over for the 600. First ball in the ninth string. In the ninth frame, sorry. Kane. That gives him a little cushion. Nardone. Still needs some housekeeping. Uh oh. He's 15 over now. Doesn't want to leave those four pins on the deck. And he does. So he is 11 over. Needs a nine for the 600. Is that, is that for some drama? Meanwhile, Mike Kane has moved one pin ahead of Nardone. And he puts up the Galeri. He's at 102. That's three of them. Nine. Okay. Down to the last ball. Nardone needs one of these for the, that's it, a 601 for Mike Nardone. <laughs> he was a good scare there with that six. <laughs> that was a one, matching 111s from Kane and Nardone. That was for, <laughs> almost the turkey on lane six from Beaupre. Left it shaking. Oh. Still shaking. <laughs> <It's t> <laughs> All right. Rich Lamone and Ken Dubray looking for a big half here. Oh, there and there's coming. the beginning. Remember, Lamone is working on the strike. Still in the bonus. He got three on that first ball. Oh. That's the Double third the time, Double third time he's left the high-low jack today. He made one of them. Had a little friendlier wood configuration. He's got a chance, he's got a chance, oh! Almost, who makes two out of three? Those. All right, so that was ultimately seven in the bonus for a 57 half for Lamone and uh, with that nine, he goes to 66. Mike Kane finished with a final total of 552. And that's gonna be hard to reach. Just four to play now for these two. Ken, Ken was really looking for the double strike there. So Dubray's at 67. Lamone at 75. He's in third place right now. 22 over. He needs, he needs to pick up 30 bonus pins. So he needs 50 in the next three boxes. Six, 60 in the next three boxes. Oh! Only bid there. Second ball from Dupre. Oh, nothing. Nothing happening on lane three. Okay. 75 through eight for Dubray. He 
needs a strike here or he will be eliminated. That should be a that should be it for Debray. Lamone is still in it with a spare in the spare in the eighth. In the ninth. Spare in the ninth. He's at uh, At 93, plus this ball, seven more. That puts him at 100. And that that actually, without the without the strike, Rich Lamone also has been eliminated. Mike Kane started slowly with 99, 98, then came on strong with 115, 129, and 111. He will advance with a 552 total. Mike Nardone playing with fire today. Final score is there. Rich Lamone with a 109. For a 526 on the day. Ken Dubray with a 93. Drops to 509. You see the circled names will advance. Mike Nardone and Mike Kane. The scores of 601 and 552 will advance to the second round of the Chicha. Thank you if you enjoyed this uh, experimental work with the pin cams. We're going to move our cameras over just a little to watch the end of the uh, bonus coverage here. The matches on lanes five and six are still going. Nice job. Way to wake. <laughs> Every, everybody hung out. No, this is. I hope. I hope the pin cam works. I, I can't. I hope that the, that shows really well. I'm still live though, by the way. <laughs> but thanks, Mike. It's a pl pleasure meeting you. I've watched Thank you bowl. I watched you bowl many times. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations yeah. on the 601. That was a that, what's your what's your high my, five? My high five is 648. Yeah, yeah. You, I knew you had some crazy numbers. Yeah, <laughs> I just, 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 I just
and get a double strike now. He's at 93 through 9. Yeah, I was going to say, he's a, a triple looking for a 27 box here. There's one, but the 10 pin has a different idea. And Matt Nichols will advance with a 605. That spare brings up to 103. Even with a strike here, he'll have a uh, 599. Tough matchup. Like, like I said, the uh, Cheech. Oh my goodness. And it, uh, 598. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, 598. And Chris Parkinson is eliminated. Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. The Wheel of Fortune spun by, uh, by Cheech in making the uh, random draw mashups. <laughs> Keith Beaupre, though. What's your high five, Keith? 714. 714. Well, phenomenal. I wish I'd been calling it the whole way. <laughs> the, double, the, double, the double nine looked beautiful. All right. Well, now I think it's time for us to sign off. <laughs> Yeah, yes, take take this. I'm going to I'm going to shut down the uh the feed.